early in the morning, we left Dominica, headed to Martinique. Beautiful day on the water. On our way, we spotted whale spouts in the ocean, and there were quite a few charter boats out there with us, hoping to catch a glimpse of a sperm whale surfacing. It's so hard to catch this on camera, so we were not successful, but it was interesting to see at least the spouts of the whales. They're out there. Land ho, Martinique. Five hours later, the mountains of Martinique greeted us as we sailed along its west end. Rainforest mountains, always shrouded in clouds, cliffs along the coast, 50 shades of green on the hillsides. Our first stop in Martinique was St. Pierre, a city famous for the 1902 Mount Pili volcanic eruption where 29,000 people died in the deadliest eruption of the 20th century. St. Pierre gave us rainbows every day. Of course, those came after the showers. On a short dinghy ride down the coast to Le Carbet, we retreated to a wonderful beach bar and restaurant and other interesting sites. So deep was the love of the people for the city that they rebuilt even though the threat of future volcanic activity is ever present. We're in the middle of St. Pierre and there's a fort here, right in the middle of the city. Obviously it was here before the city, but here it is. I'm surprised this was not covered with lava when that was, when that volcano erupted. We are here in the ruins, uh, church ruins, and they've basically left this as it, as it happened after the volcano. Plenty of cobblestone streets here in St. Pierre. And chickens. And cats. birds. You're looking at the ruins, of course, of a mental health facility. They use this for the insane, obviously. They had therapies that they used and say that they met with great success. One of the therapies was the hydrotherapy that you see there, part of that, and they used the waters from the volcano, Mount Pili. And I'm not sure what this room actually was, but maybe more hydrotherapy. Lord. 
here we have what was solitary confinement areas for the patients that were more dangerous. This is a lot more than we expected. It's kind of eerie. I would not want to come here at night. There you have Mount Pili Volcano in the distance. And right in front of us is the prison. During the volcano, the prison had one survivor because he was in a dungeon for uh, punishment, I guess. But the direction of the windows and the the fact that it was down below protected him from the blast of the volcano and the gases. And then Stephen says he joined the Barnum and Bailey Circus. A calm sail in the lee of the island took us to Fort de France. Not looking forward to the busy city, we stopped at a small anchorage nearby called Schlokler at Ansei Navire, where what to our wondering eyes does appear but a Ben and Jerry's. It was awesome. Here we are right in the middle of the beach, a Ben and Jerry's. Looks like Ben and Jerry's pop-up store. Like they built it and then brought it in on a truck. You getting some ice cream today, sir? That Ben and Jerry. Uh huh. In Fort de France, we did enjoy the city. We were able to complete some shopping for some items we just could not find anywhere else in the islands. We did not enjoy the anchorage too much. It was quite crowded for us. Just a little taste of Fort de France for you. It is a cruise ship. Bay, so there are a lot of cruise ship shops right here on the main section. We are in Fort Defense. This is like their little pedestrian outside mall. It's very artsy. Right, no, she, said, she said take her time. She's got okay. Very good art. I think it's a bar. Well, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Their streets are even painted. Pretty cool. Painted streets, right? I think we should do that. And.
It looks rather French New Orleans. Oh yeah, it no. does. Next, we headed to all of the beaches on our way south. There are so many and they were filled with French tourists. We learned that coming to Martinique is a rare treat for them and very expensive. These boats just amaze me. This one's kind of old, but all the rigging on it. Oh my God, how could you keep track of what did what? So we're moving on to the next anchorage and the uh, little island out to the right is supposed to be great for snorkeling. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. That was the island ferry service. We don't wanna anchor by where they come in and out either. Oh, hang on, hang on. found a little island we're gonna go snorkeling on and <laughs> here's what's left of the dock but it's a great place to tie off and just swim to shore and it looks like they used to have organized tours here because this used to be an area for drop-off we think and I think it's great yeah we're gonna, beautiful over there we're gonna go on a trail up to the top where there's actually a fort. Let's see. Here's a little glimpse of today's trail. Pretty easy. Nicely maintained. Well, this was a bust. <laughs> uh, yeah, they really don't want you in there. I got Constantine wire everywhere and um, looks like some people have brought their tools and moved the Constantine wire and got in here anyhow, but it's just not worth it. Looks like somebody ripped, ripped their clothing on some of that wire. <laughs> but it's, it, God, it looks really cool. Like, this is built on those rocks and there's like a little bridge up there. There are some aerial photos online I'll share with y'all, but we were not successful in taking the fort. We are at Anse Noir. Y'all know what noir means. So this evidently is the blackest of the black sand beaches. Well, at least of any that we've been on. And it truly is really black. It just looks like dirt, right? But it's really quaint place. Looks like there's a private either home or maybe a guest house. And then they rent kayaks here. Kind of a cool looking shack. And then there's this awesome little ridge, covered bridge, leading to the thingy dock, which is very unique. First one of those I've ever seen. And might be bigger boats that come here, we're not sure. The dock certainly is built for it. So it's snorkeling today at Adse Dewar, and uh, it's really beautiful. Cliffs and nice water.
Here we are anchored in Anse Dufour, which is right next to Anse Noir. The really cool thing is that this beach has white sand, whereas Anse Noir had the black sand. And they're right next to each other. Very odd. Only one boat anchored, and that's us. The other one had like five boats out there. Kind of crowded. But they're they're like five minute walk from each other. This um, looks like a happening place. So Stephen, do you like Anse Noir or Anse Dufour better? You know, I like them both, but I really think this is a little prettier than Anse Dufour. Of course, from the from the water, Anse Noir has those nice palms and that bridge. Yeah, they're both worth a visit. Resort with fences. The fence kind of ruins it for me. I gotta say. Yeah. Well, it looks like a fun place. 